What's up guys, Andrew Kirk coming at you guys today with a brand new video. It is Saturday, meaning it is Slashback Saturday, where every week we get a new theme that fits a slasher film. We watch the film and review it. Um, this week's theme was uh, Supernatural Slashers, and instantly the Hatchet films kind of popped to my mind because Victor Crowley is technically kind of a ghost towards later in the movie series and um, the franchise. But I know I just reviewed a Hatchet film not terribly long ago, so I decided I'm going to pick something different than Hatchet. Um, for those who thought maybe I probably would pick that. So I picked one of my other all-time favorite slasher films. Um, this is a film by Wes Craven. It doesn't get talked about a whole lot, but I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think I honestly almost like it more than The Nightmare on Elm Street. It's that good to me. And that is Shocker. So this is a centered around a guy named Horace Pinker. Who's a killer going on you know going around killing these families brutally um and there's this teen in the film who starts to have these visions he has a vision of his family being murdered runs home to find out that his family truly was murdered so he's realizing that he's kind of having these visions of this man and he can't really figure out why um so he's kind of trying to catch him down you know because his whole family's been murdered except his dad and his dad works for the police and stuff and eventually they end up catching him and uh, he gets sentenced to the electric chair and they go there to watch him die however things kind of go south and uh, it actually ends up making Horace Pinker get these like weird electric powers um, and he escapes from the jail so now he's on they're on this manhunt trying to track him down um, but he's still going around and it's just it's super goofy it has a lot of humor to it he travels through like the televisions and just any kind of like electric current see um oh and you know and he he also killed the the spoilers but he also killed the you know the main character who lost his family they killed his uh he killed his girlfriend as well so he definitely has it out for this guy um and there's a, just a lot of cool things in here. I love the soundtrack. You got some weird appearances by like Wes Craven's son, I believe, and Alice Cooper's. Uh, I think it shows like one of his music videos or something like that in here. Um, but the, the the album, the soundtrack itself is just absolutely awesome. I love the uh, the main theme for the film. Um, but yeah, this is the Scream Factor release. I love the artwork on here. And even the traditional artwork is probably one of my all-time favorite artworks. I used to have the VHS of this years ago, and it just was one of my favorites to look at. I don't know if it's going to really focus. There we go. A little bit. So that is Wes Craven's Shocker. That is my review for this Saturday's Slashback Challenge. Make sure you guys go check out The Horror Man if you have not already. Um, and make sure you guys check out Shocker because to me it is a pretty underground slasher film. Um, I think it fits that paranormal or uh, supernatural kind of theme and uh, yeah, just a really solid film overall. Make sure you guys check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.